How in the fuck are you about to say The way that we do it is not the way No, don't you swear that you not in the way Nothing you do could be in my day Hey guys, what is up? Uh, Edit City here. I decided that I'm going to do a Sony Vegas tutorial, guys. And basically, in this one, it's kind of going to be an intro to Sony Vegas. So um, I'm going to try to keep it short, but get cover a lot of stuff that I can um, in the time that I can. And um, I do believe my uh, my workspace is a little bit set up differently than the stock setup, but I, I, I like it like this. So yours, you can match what I got here. I got it set up pretty well. I'd always open it on the video effects tab, but... You'll probably be set up from Project Media. So anyway, what you can do, what I do, a lot of people might be commenting, oh, you can do it this way, you could you could do it this way. Oh, that's not how I do it at all. Well, I'm just going to let you know. Uh, I'm showing you how I do it, and um, you can see my end result and whether or not you want that. So um, just follow this video. Don't, I just, I don't like it when people comment, oh, this isn't how I do it. It's, well, I mean, good job. So good for you. I'm just changing a few things back to what they would be. But, um, okay, so first things first, you have your workspace. And what I always do is I go to open. And um, and then typically I'll download a video from YouTube or something or I'll find. Anyway, you got to have your footage. Um, I even have a tutorial how to do this with apps. Oh, crap, sorry, way ahead of myself. Um, I have a tutorial how to do that with apps. But anyway, so what you want to do, you have your clip, right? And this is your video track. You have your clip, right? This is your video track. This is your audio track. And you notice how if I move them, um, you can see that they move together. The thing you always start with when you import a clip, you hit U on the keyboard because that separates the audio layer from the video layer. So you can move them around uh, freely from each other. And typically what I always do is I uh, delete the, the audio from the video because one, it might be copyrighted. Uh, and two, it's either people just talking and you want to add music so you can make effects and stuff. Anyway, now you have just your video, right? So what I usually do then is I um, you right click on the video and you have to click go to switches, go down to disable resample. That's like the only one you need to do. Um, some people I've seen some videos where people say unclick this or click this or unclick this, click this. Um, but the thing you always 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 want to do is disable resample. Um, so once you have that, make sure you do that to every clip because it's not going to do it to every clip unless you do it. So then from here. What I always like to do is I always go to pan crop, which is this this little bubble right here, and I go to the, I make sure I'm on the first first frame, and then I just take this and I drag it in just like a little bit like that. What that does I've noticed is it get ri gets rid of any black bars that tend to be on NBA and NFL clips, and the black bars go along the edge right here. And I notice those really just get annoying when you use um, certain effects because you'll see like a black line all along the edge and uh, it gets really annoying and doesn't look quite good it looks like you messed something up so anyway that's how you fix that I noticed and um, so from when you're in here you have your video and um, I'm gonna make a separate tutorial on Twixter just because it's such a massive massive thing you have to do so I'll make that very soon but first you have your video and then you want to go to open again and what I usually do is you can download songs from the internet. What I always do is I kind of I use, or like from YouTube, I mean, but what I always do is I kind of, I use Vine Grab, and then I'll just give audio credits to the people whose audio it was. Um, let's see. I have some cool trap music. Basically, you double-click on that, and then what it's going to do is it's going to open up the video, and it's like, like last time, it's going to be docked with the, um, the video itself what you do is you click on the video I hit U and then hit the delete key not the backspace key but the delete key and you delete that so now you just have the your video and the audio from that video so now just drag this to zoom in and what I usually do and I'm not sure if this is gonna work on my computer because it's, it's pretty slow but um you what you want to do is you want to hit the space bar because that plays it I need it and you can see the waveform is like this. And this song may not have been the best one, but it's also very defined, I guess. It's good and it's not. But what you want to do is you want to play it with the space bar. I it. And, or this button, or this is play from the start, or play from where you are. I need it. Hey, race are going to play. And you notice, I it. it's going to lag if you have, like, effects on the video. Um, 
and the way that you get rid of the lag is what you do this is called a pre-render is you drag this so you see this blue bar and what I do you I right, right clicked on that is you wanna click on his loop playback if you want it to like continuously loop playing through that's like the Adobe render and I kinda like that but what's nice about Sony Vegas is instead of having to click a button way up here if you're on the keyboard a uh, shortcut for this is shift B and it starts to render it for you right there I need it. And I didn't have any effects, so it didn't really seem to do much. But you'll notice if you have effects on there and it's lagging, when you click Shift B and let it go load through the video, then when it's done and it's back at the beginning, you can hit the spacebar and it's going to play through rather smooth. Depends on your computer, uh, but it will definitely work a lot better. But um, when you're in the editing process, if you have a cheaper laptop, this is how well the video looks when you're editing it. You can see the project, the final project will render out to these specifications. But right now, in the preview window, which is this window, I have it at 320 by 180 by 32 instead of 1280 by 720 by 32. But it still is 29 frames per second. And then another thing is this quality is not going to be what you render out. You're going to be rendering and it's going to render in good or best. And um, so anyway, that's just a little thing if you were confused for that. Basically, from here, you want to go and you want to map out your points of interest. So similar to my syncing tutorial with apps, on the keyboard the shortcut is the M key. So if you hit M, that creates a marker. You can name the marker anything you want, or you don't have to name the marker, and you just hit enter to complete it. All right. You can move the marker around wherever you want to. I'm not going to because this is right where I want it. Typically you want to go from where the beat takes place. You don't want it to be before or after unless you're going for a desired effect. Right now we're just going to go right on the beat. So then, once you have that beat mapped out, I need it. that is not a beat. You want to listen in your headphones, and you, or the computer, or whatever. You want to listen for when you hear the snap, or when you hear the beat, like a like a bass hit. And basically, you want to listen for those, and you want to you want to hit M on your keyboard and put a marker everywhere you you hear one. So um, once you're done doing that, just say there's one. I there's one right there. I need it. There's another one right over there. And another tip for you, if you're playing through the audio and you don't want to... Because if you hit the space bar and then you hit it again, it goes right back to where it was. But if you hit uh, the space bar and you hit the enter key, either enter key with the number pad or the regular enter key, uh, it stops it where it is and you can even hit enter again. And it's going to start again from there. It acts like the space bar, but it stops and starts it instead of the space bar starting it. And then when you stop it, it goes back to the beginning. Just a little thing to help you out there, too. So the base hit ends up being right here. And I'm going to make a marker right there. And what you can do is you can always delete. You can go to with the marker, or you can rename it. And I'm going to just beat. That's where the main beat drop occurs. So that's where the main effects are going to happen. And, um,. Right now, I'm just kind of showing you how to mark out your clip. I'm not going to show you any effects in this video because it would just take way too long, and I don't know if my computer can record that long. But um, I'll make more tutorials on this stuff, uh, render settings, color corrections, um, editing without plugins. Uh, definitely, I'm going to make a lot of Watch Me edits. Um, I don't like that name, but like basically, I'm just going to record me editing, and then you're going to see how I use certain techniques, what I do, what I don't do and uh, you're going to get to learn Sony Vegas very well. This is just a general video, how to import your clips. Um, stay tuned because I'm definitely definitely going to make a lot more software tutorials. Um, I'll still make app tutorials for those of you who are apps, so don't worry, I'm not leaving. So no, please do not unsubscribe. Uh, I'm not done with apps at all. I just finally got this open broadcast software to work. Um, and my computer can actually handle it since I cleaned it up a little bit since the last time I tried. But anyway, stay tuned. I hope to see you guys in more tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!